Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. If you're on a mission to be more frugal with both your time and money, you're in the right place. In this podcast, we talk about topics that help enhance living a frugal lifestyle. The goal is to save time and money where we can so that we can use the rest on what matters most to us. We talk a lot about both time and money management so that we can waste as little as possible on both. We do this while also embracing a progress over perfection mindset. If that sounds good to you, then please stick around for the latest episode right after a few quick words from our sponsor. Hi everyone, welcome back to my weekly meal plan episode. This is an episode where I share my meal plan for my family for the upcoming week. I do a blog post that goes along with this episode, which can be found on my website at lolasfrugallife.com, and there's links to any recipes that I mention in this episode. The meal plan is only for dinners. I definitely rotate my meals um, frequently, so you will not always hear new recipes. You'll hear me repeat recipes quite often, Um, but I do throw in some new things here and there when I have time or when I feel like trying something new. Um, So you do get some new stuff sometimes, but I do definitely do um, some repetition because that's the way I'm able to keep my meal plan going and making it easy for myself. So um, this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, December 31st, which is New Year's Eve. So I don't have a traditional meal um, for New Year's Eve. What I usually do is just make a whole bunch of appetizers and we just kind of snack for dinner and then through to New Year's Eve to New Year's, whatever, when the ball drops. So the appetizers that I'm going to be making on New Year's Eve, um, one of them is buffalo chicken meatballs, which is from tasteofhome.com. That's, it's like a a, a meatball made with ground chicken, and then it has like a buffalo, um, you know, like sauce coating that you kind of toss the meatballs in when they're done cooking. I'm also just going to be putting out like crackers and cheese, And I bought some frozen pigs in a blanket, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm also going to be making skinny crescent jalapeno poppers, which is from BettyCrocker.com. With this, you make like a a mixture of chopped jalapenos and um, that borsin cheese, like the garlic and herb kind. And then you put that in um, a crescent roll and bake it. And my daughter really loved those last time I made them, so I'm definitely going to do that again. Um, I'm also going to try baked brie and fig jam bites. That's from RecipeRunner.com. I have not made this before, um, but it looked like it would be good. It's, you basically need the, um, phyllo shells and then it's like, it says fig jam or any kind of jam of your choice. Um, you probably could do like maybe strawberry or raspberry or something like that. And then, um, brie cut into chunks and then you basically just, put them together and you bake them. So I'm going to try that for sure. Um, And then I'm also going to do pizza pinwheels, which is from allrecipes.com. Again, that's just like a crescent roll with mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and pizza sauce, and you roll them up and bake them. And then I'm also going to do baked ham and cheese party sandwiches, which is from allrecipes.com. I make these every once in a while for like a weekend dinner or lunch. Um, It's basically you take rolls and you lay cheese like swiss cheese and ham and then i think swiss cheese again and then you top them with like a butter mustard mixture um, that you kind of brush over top of the rolls and then you bake them in the oven and they come out really good and i wanted to have at least one like semi like food a little bit more filling type item um, so that it wasn't just all snacks in case someone was a little bit hungrier so anyway so that's what we're going to do for new year's eve For New Year's Day, I do not have um, a meal plan for that day because we go visit family on New Year's Day, so I won't actually be cooking on the first. Um, For the second, that's going to be our hamburger night again, so for that, I just do, um, I just take ground beef and make hamburger patties and cook it up on the stove. Um, I'm also going to be doing oven fresh seasoned potato wedges from allrecipes.com. This is just a really quick recipe where you take potatoes, cut them into wedges, and toss them in a Ziploc bag with olive oil, Parmesan cheese, and I think it's like garlic powder and onion powder, and um, you just bake them in the oven. They come out really good, and then a can of pork and beans on the side with that. Tuesday is our um, 
Mexican theme night. So this week happens to be tacos. Um, I don't have a recipe for the tacos. We just do um, ground chicken usually with um, some seasoned salt and some chili powder. And then I um, just, you know, put out the typical taco stuff, lettuce, tomato, avocado, um, some salsa, some taco sauce, cheese, all that kind of stuff. And everybody just makes their own tacos how they like it. I usually have hard shells and soft shells. So that is for our Tuesday night. For Wednesday, I'm going to be doing one pot garlic, butter, shrimp, and orzo. I made this, I think, just one other time, and it was really good. It's one of those, like, one pot type of dishes. And this is from homesweeteats.com. And then as a side, I'm just going to be doing some frozen vegetables, um, whatever I have in the freezer. Um, I always have some of those steam fresh like corn or peas or edamame or something I could just throw in the microwave real quick when the food's almost done um, as a side dish. So we will do that. Thursday, we do breakfast for dinner or soup and grilled cheese. This week, we're going to do breakfast for dinner. Um, so I'm going to be doing a hash brown breakfast casserole this week from spendwithpennies.com. This is um, a casserole that's made with the shredded hash browns and eggs and ground sausage. So everyone's really been liking that. So I've been kind of doing that a lot lately for our breakfast for dinner night. And then for Friday, I'm going to be doing chicken pot pie casserole, which is from tornadoughalley.com or torna, tornadoughalley.com. Um, this is a really simple pot pie casserole where you basically just make the filling um, with cream of chicken soup and frozen vegetables and some seasonings. And then you lay um, the biscuits, like canned biscuits, over the top and bake it. It comes out really good and it's a quick one casserole dish meal. So that's what we're going to do for Friday. So that's it for this week's meal plan. Um, like I said, you can find any links to recipes that are meant that were mentioned today um, on my blog post. I do, do, I do a separate blog post for each week. And you can um, just go there and see any of the recipes that are mentioned in the episode if you're looking to make any of those um, for yourself or for your family. So that's it for this week. I hope to see you back here next week. Thanks. So thank you for checking in for this podcast episode. And don't forget, you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Lola's Frugal Life. And you can find a blog post for most of my episodes and definitely all of my meal plan episodes at lolasfrugallife.com. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I could see you're listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, those ratings and reviews are what help the show come up better in search results so that other people can find this podcast. So that will really help me in growing my audience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have an awesome day.